and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that show that a six four b five minus two and c seven minus two are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Also find the length of the median through a. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result, and that is if the coordinates. of the point a are given by x1 y1 and the coordinates of the point b are given by x2 y2 then by distance formula distance ab is equal to Square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now given a triangle ABC. In which the coordinates of A are six four. The coordinates of a point B are five minus two, and the coordinates of C are seven minus two. Now we have to prove that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Now for this, we will find the lengths of all the sides by using the distance formula. That is this formula, which is given in the key idea. And if the lengths of any two sides will be equal, then the triangle is isosceles. Now let us take the coordinates of A as. X1 Y1. The coordinates of B as X2 Y2, and the coordinates of C as X3 Y3. Now, by distance formula, distance AB is equal to square root of X1 minus X2 whole square. Plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now put in the values of x1, y1, and x2, y2 here. This implies AB is equal to square root of 6 minus 5 whole square plus 4 minus of minus 2 whole square, which is equal to Square root of one square plus six square, which is further equal to square root of one plus thirty-six, which is equal to root thirty-seven. So therefore, the length of the side AB is equal to root thirty-seven units. Now, by distance formula. The length of the side BC will be equal to square root of x2 minus x3 whole square plus y2 minus y3 whole square. Now put in the values of x2, y2, and x3, y3 here. This implies BC is equal to square root of 5 minus 7 whole square plus minus 2 minus of minus 2. Whole square, which is equal to square root of minus two square plus zero square, which is equal to root four, which is further equal to two. Therefore, the length of the side BC is equal to two units. Now again, by 
distance formula distance AC will be equal to square root of x1 minus x3 whole square plus y1 minus y3 whole square. Now putting the value of x1 y1 and x3 y3 here, this will be equal to square root of 6 minus 7 whole square plus 4 minus of minus 2 whole square which is equal to square root of minus 1 square plus 6 square which is further equal to square root of 1 plus 36 which is equal to root 37. Therefore, the length of the side AC is equal to root 37 units. Now we have the length of the side AB as root 37 units and length of the side AC is also root 37 units. So now AB is equal to AC is equal to root 37 units. This implies triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle because the lengths of any two sides of the triangle are equal. Also, we have to find the length of median through A. Now let AD is the median through the vertex A which is meeting the side BC at the point D. This means that D is the midpoint of BC. Now the coordinates of the midpoint D by midpoint formula are x2 plus x3 by 2 and y2 plus y3 by 2 as D is the midpoint of BC. So this will be equal to putting the values of x2 y2 and x3 y3 here this will be 5 plus 7 by 2 and minus 2 minus 2 by 2 which is equal to 12 by 2 and minus 4 by 2 which is further equal to 6 and minus 2. Therefore coordinates of D are 6 minus 2. So the coordinates of D are 6 minus 2 and let us take it as x4, y4. Now by distance formula the distance AD which is the length of the median is equal to square root of x1 minus x4 whole square plus y1 minus y4 whole square which is equal to square root of 6 minus 6 whole square plus 4 minus of minus 2 whole square which is equal to square root of 0 square plus 6 square which is equal to root 36 which is equal to 6 therefore the length of the median is equal to 6 units hence we can write 
the length of the median AD is equal to 6 units. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.